So last year, we had this bizarre heat wave here. The temperatures went above 100 degrees for just... <laughs> for just weeks and weeks. And that never happens here. We don't typically get above the 90s. And I don't have particularly heat hardy breeds. I don't have leghorns or naked necks or anything like that. I have mainly <coughs> dual purpose birds. And they were really, really suffering. And they were suffering so much that I think that I could have lost some to heat stroke. And really I would have, I would have brought them inside before that happened, but that's just how hot it was here and how much they were suffering. And then I found one thing that just made all the difference in the world and completely turned things around for my flock. I got misters. And they were incredible and now my chickens don't live without them in the summer. So mine just look like this. They spray water out of these different nozzles but if you have a smaller run you could just get a standing mister. They come in a few different varieties. And misters help to cool down your chickens in a lot of different ways. So first the cold water on your chickens helps them to cool down. Then when that cold water evaporates, you get some evaporative cooling effects. And even with just a little breeze, you get the mist moving with that breeze. So you get this kind of convective cooling effect. And the mist wets the sand down in the run. So my chicken's feet can just be nice and cool. And everything around here just feels so much cooler. When you do get a mister, you wanna make sure that there's plenty of space for your chickens to get out of the mist so that they're not getting soaking wet, constantly having this water on them, inhaling water into their delicate <laughs> respiratory systems. You wanna make sure that a lot of that run is dry and I make sure that the feeders and waterers are in the dry part of the run. So when we first put misters in this coop, I originally had them up on this wall. The problem was, was that the breeze would occasionally go in that opposite direction. And it usually goes this way into the coop, but it did occasionally reverse. And then the misters were just blowing air into the shade cloth or down there, they were just blowing it out of the coop and it was just a total waste. So we moved them to be perpendicular across here like that. Now, if you live in a humid area, you might be wondering, would a mister work for you? And a lot of people will just tell you straight away that no, a mister won't work in these more humid areas. But I did come across a forum post at backyardchickens.com where someone from Fort Worth, Texas, very hot, very humid, they decided to try using a mister and just like me, they found it to be a godsend. So if you are from a humid area, I'm gonna link to that below so you can take a look at that. But I was born and bred in the dry, dry west. So I really am out of my element when it comes to these hot and humid regions of the world. And I do know that you need to be a lot more concerned about things like coccidiosis in those areas. So if you do decide to try a mister, make sure that you keep that in mind. Only do it in a run that drains really well. I have found that sand works very well here. And if you think misters just really aren't for you, and even if you think that they are, there is another thing that you might want to consider for hot weather, and that is fans. And in this video here, I talk about what kind of fans are safe for your coop. And I talk about, for those of you who don't have electricity to your coop, I talk about a battery powered fan, and this is my favorite fan. It is awesome, and you can learn all about it here. Happy chickening.